with it. Hit them four, now stab with it. Nay, nay, then you stop, then you hit the molly bop with it. Hey, hey, lean with it, stab with it. Hit them four, now stab with it. Nay, nay, then you stop, then you hit the molly bop with it. Hey, lean with it, stab with it. What causes a volcanic eruption? The surface of the earth, the crust in comprise of a number of tectonic plates which are constantly moving slowly at about the rate of your fingernails growth. Most volcanic activity occurs in the places where these plates meet, the plate boundaries. The large rock of beneath earth's crust is called the mantle. This is mostly solid but in certain places it comes out to become magma. At migration, ridge tectonic move apart. This creates space for the mantle rock to below to rise. As it moves upwards, the pressure on the rock decreases allowing it to melt. When the magma reaches the surface, the ocean water causes it to cool, creating giant pillow-like formation of rock called basalt. These rocks made up of most of the sea floor. At subduction, plate boundaries 18 oceanic plate slides under thicker continental plate. The oceanic plate is saturated with water which drags down to the earth. At around 60 miles deep, the water trapped inside is released which reduces the melting point of the surrounding rock, allowing it to melt. This melted rock cools as it rises. Different minerals cool at the different rates. The last to cool is silica which make it thick and gloopy. Because the magma is so thick, the gases released upon melting get trapped in large bubbles. When one of these reaches the surface, it bursts. There are also a number of so-called volcanic hotspots away from plate boundaries. Here, mantle rock melted by a plume of heat originating from deep in the earth. The Hawaiian Islands is in the ring of fire and has the world's most ac active volcano, Kilauea. Volcanoes have helped shape our planet. They provide life but also can take life away. Here's our list of top five volcano eruptions caught on camera. Number five, we have Mexico's Popocatapult volcano which erupted in 2013. Popocatapult erupts every few years. Nearby, residents learn to stay well clear of this volcano. Last year, Mount Shimawadake erupted in Japan, which covered up nearby towns in ash and dust for weeks. Luckily, the volcano situated in island, so magma flowed safely to the ocean below. mountain climbers are certainly lucky to be alive after Kuchinoe Rabu Jima erupted in Japan. They quickly take cover behind rocks to shield themselves to elements. <laughs> Costa Rica Torrialba volcano erupted also last year. No one was reported to have been killed, but nearby airports and facilities have to be shut down for days until the ashes subsided. Perhaps the most famous of all volcanoes, Mount St. Helens, erupted in 1980s. 57 people died in this eruption, make it one of the most deadly volcano eruption in modern times. This wraps up our report about volcanic eruption. I'm Murphy. I'm Alisa. And my name is Persis. Thanks for watching. Hey, 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 hey. Lean with it, stab with it. Hit the phone, now stab with it. Nay, nay, then you stop, then you hit the molly bop with it. Lean with it. With it, hit the phone, now stab with it. Nay, nay, then you stop, then you hit the molly bop with it. Lean with it, stab with it, hit the phone.